Okay, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and this, this video is about growing and uh, harvesting borlotti and pinto beans. Uh, pintos, so these are, uh, you can see what I'm picking here, they've, it's amazing how quickly they develop, uh, so, so uh, the skin's quite, gone quite yellow and uh, so it doesn't take long to get a decent amount and uh, so you can see the ones I'm leaving behind see the ones I'm leaving behind they've got a few more days to go and uh, I think commercially I think commercially they harvest the whole lot in one go so this is the advantage of growing your own um, you can sort of just select the selectively harvest and uh, so uh, I think the pinto beans are really good value for a home gardener uh, in our climate I find they really grow well in the spring and uh, don't have quite as many challenges with pests in the spring as what I do in the summer and uh, they don't seem to grow in the winter time so I just get one good crop of um, Pinto beans and Borlotti beans in the spring and, uh, and then we sort of put them in the freezer. So it's the same thing here, I've harvested quite a few of these so uh, I'm just choosing the pods that are nice and mature. Uh, so once they go yellow most of the goodness has gone into the seeds which is what you want. Beautiful looking beans. They're the four lotties. They're also known as cranberry beans. They're beautiful colour, aren't they? Yeah, yes. They're just the colour of cranberries. Yeah. I couldn't resist showing this. This is our first crop of snake beans coming on. Yeah, uh, I love snake beans. They weren't looking too good in our uh, last video, uh, last garden update. Oh, they're looking they're really, really good now. Looking really good. There's heaps of little ones on there. Yeah. So they just really come on. I've got another patch of uh, pinto beans here. Uh, I've been harvesting these the last few days, and same thing goes here. Just choosing the the pods that are sort of yellowish. Uh, now this corn, I picked a beautiful big bag off this yesterday. So what I'm doing is going through and feeling the cobs that are nice and fat. Um, now this one's ready to go. Beautiful cob. So I just go through. So they don't all ripen the same time. So it doesn't make sense to harvest them too early or too late. So you can do it when they're just right. So I've got another bag for the freezer here today and there'll probably be another bag tomorrow. I'm just de-husking the sweet corn here. We've also got a little group of uh, blue faced honey eaters. I've been uh, an after a feed of honey. So every now and again you can hear them making a racket. I'll probably keep quiet now. <laughs> oh, they're in out of the rain too. Yeah. So, uh, now this is my beautiful super sweet corn. I've dehusked four out of this lot and I haven't seen one grub yet. But uh, that's only more luck than good management. I'm in on that, that's beautiful, huh? Am I holding it still enough? Yes. Fantastic. Beautiful. So we'll go inside and do the beans shortly when I finish doing these. Right, uh, so I'm just going to shell these Borlotti beans and you can see what comes out. These beautiful uh, beans. Yeah. Packed chock and block full of uh, protein and uh, vitamins and enzymes, uh, a list as long as your arm. And uh, so when, it was when I discovered all these vitamins they have and protein, I, that's when I started growing them. This is a beautiful one here. Oh, that's, that 
that's magnificent. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this one. Now, I used to let them get a bit more mature. Oh, that's beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, lovely. And uh, so, yeah, as far as growing them is concerned, what I do for my seeds is go to the health food store and buy the seeds in bulk. So these are my Bolotti beans. So these are just what you'd call dry beans. So here's my uh, pinto beans. Uh, so, so this is how we go. It's very cost effective and I think it's very good value for the home gardener growing these sort of uh, seeds. So I'll just show this last one and, uh, and I'll do some pintos. Oh, look at the colour in that one. Beautiful. That is beautiful. It's amazing uh, oh. the difference it makes if you leave them for one or two days. Doing some pintos. So you just show them like you do peas, I guess. That's probably they're not they're not quite as inspiring as the Borlotties, but um, still beautiful seeds. Well, they're all nice to eat. Yeah. So, what do we use them in? We we boil them up. So you watching where, you, where the cameras going? Mm -hmm. So we uh, boil them up and mix them with sweet corn. We uh, put them in uh, soups and stews and casseroles, um, salads, uh, all sorts of ways we use them. And, uh, and the advantage of, of using these sort of beans, uh, your homegrown beans, is uh, once you freeze them, all you do is just uh, put the water, bring your water to the boil, uh, pop your frozen beans in the boiling water, uh, wait for it to come back to the boil again and let them boil for about 30 minutes. So, uh, so much better than dry beans. Uh, so I think we have just about covered it. Um, Jeff's getting a nice little collection of these um, pinto beans here. I just want to show you. I just wanted to show you and also show you a close up of these beautiful Bolotti beans with their beautiful cranberry coloured um, markings in them. Jeff's just harvesting the last of his pinto beans. We've had four rows, eight foot long and uh, we haven't been using any of these ones and when he's finished and he's peeled them we're going to show you how many we got out of those four rows. I'm just tipping out and showing you the amount of be pinto beans we got from our four rows of beans eight foot long so they produce very, very well. Right, well, so I've got all my Borlotti beans shelled and I've got them in a the bucket. Uh, you know, they're the same as I did with the pintos. So that's the result of uh, three rows, eight foot long. Uh, that's, that's, I'll do it again. So. Do you like that noise? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and then you start to eat them. You start to eat them now, can't oh, you? Oh, that part <laughs> I do like. Yeah, so that's not bad. Mm, after after three good. rows. We, anyway, we'll close off this. Anyway, we'll close now. We'll catch you later. Bye.